Welcome everyone to another Joltest Marine Vlog. In this case, we're going to be showing you how to connect and how to perform passive diagnostics on Volvo Penta. Not every engine issue is related with an active fault code and we can still use by directional functionality such as system checks and then the technical information within the software to get the job done. In this scenario, we have an irregular engine performance. So first we need to press the inboard picture in order to access the brand menu. And then we select Volvo Penta. We have gasolines and diesels. In this case, I'm gonna use a diesel and a D12. As you can see, Jaltus Marine is an all makes and all systems diagnostics tool. And we can connect to more than just the engine. For example, all the EVC, Volvo Penta technology. We select the engine and by clicking into the connector symbol, it will take us to the plug selection. We have different connection options using the V8 link interface, the blue box. Same structure, first the connector location, second the connector image, third pinout detail and fourth the cables we need. In this case JDC 600, which is the marine adapter that is connected to the interface plus the GDC 605M. We can also connect using the JDC 213 and 3 plus the JDC 527A, different references, but it's the same cable termination. If we're using the new V9 link, the black and white box, the instructions will vary. We need the JDC 213.9 plus the JDC 527A. Now we'll click connect. In this example, again, we don't have any fault codes. We don't have any electronic problems, but the engine performance is very irregular. Therefore, we can think that we can have a mechanic problem. It is a good option to perform a cylinder compression. So select system checks and then cylinder compression. From now on, we need to read the instructions carefully and Jaltus Marine always guides you through the process. Every value lower than 100% indicate that there is a compression loss. This information is not provided by Volvo Penta, but you can find it with Jaltus Marine. For us, the technical information is very, very important. Depending on the engine, the cylinder number one is right next or in the opposite direction of the flywheel. It is crucial to know this in order to understand the values correctly. Option one, if it has a timing belt, the cylinder one is in the opposite side of the flywheel. And option two, if it has a chain drive, the cylinder one is right next to the flywheel. Now we click accept. This was step one. Now this is step two, initial condition. We must meet all requirements and then click accept. We need to know that after pressing the check symbol, we must switch on and hold for a few seconds until we see the results. The starter will work, but the engine won't run. Do not hold more than 15 seconds, otherwise we can empty the battery or burn the starter. Now we can visualize the values of the cylinder compression also as a graphic. Again, anything lower than 100% means that we have a loss of efficiency. Now we must turn off the key in order to reset the ECU and wait for 10 seconds before continuing with other functionalities. We can even use the clock if we want and when we're done, we click accept. Under the diagnosis report, we can display the results. We have, for example, 70% in a cylinder. We can have mechanical problems and we will not have any active fault codes. Now with this information, you can tell your customer if he or she wants to fix it as the invoice will rise. Now you can do it with a specific, measurable and valuable information in your report with Jaltish Marine. If the customer wants to move ahead, you can find all the technical information you need within Jaltish Marine, selecting Vessel Technical Data.
Before using this information, you need to remove the cylinder head and see if we have any damaged fob or any damaged piston ring, etc. There are multiple situations that generates a compression loss. Then we fix it. For example, valve number one is damaged and although as you may know, it is convenient anyway to change every valve to avoid future problems, not just the damaged valve. We fix it again. Now we select tiny Torx and then cinder head. You have step one, the order. Step two, we have different stages, tiny stages and Torx magnitude using a torque wrench. First stage, force of 60 newton meters with a variance of plus or minus 10, therefore between 50 and 70. Second, again, force of 60 newton meters with a variance of plus or minus 10. Third stage, apply a 90 degree angle with a variance of plus or minus 5, therefore between 85 and 95. Fourth stage, again, apply 90 degree angle with a variance of plus or minus 5. To sum up, in stages 1 and 2 apply force, stages 3 and 4 apply angle. Now we can go to adjustments and tolerance, valves adjustments, and using a feeder gauge we need a valve clearance intake of 0.2 millimeters and an exhaust of 0.5 millimeters. As you have seen, we can use Jolteish Marine to fix our problems, even if they're related to a mechanical situation and on an electronic fault, doing mechanic system checks and using the technical information within the software. This is what we call passive diagnostics. Thank you for watching and see you again very soon.